Hello and welcome back to a new part of Sam and Max. Now we are in the future. Look at Max and look at Sam. Sam is a bit... a bit old. Let's not say insane, but he is old. And we must move on. Uh, where's the cake? Oh, the cake disappeared and we search it last time and where we go now hmm this time we are going to stinky yes and oh this is stinky What do you two want? It's the one true stinky! Are we glad to see you? Why? <laughs> Still, it's a new person to talk to. Yeah. Look, Sam! It's us as impressionable preteens! <laughs> Exceedingly well done! Oh, he's from Cops. And Stinky looks more like Popeye the Sailor Man if you. S yeah, he really looks like him. If you saw the the cartoons they were very they are very old and but very entertaining hi stinky are you the parents of those two parasites well not exactly although we do still have a time machine <laughs> so i wouldn't completely rule out the possibility that's gross oh, max boy. i'm just saying that's disgusting we bring a warning from the future in about 25 years you're going to be Murdered! Murdered my swollen pancreas. <laughs> I once wrestled four rabid grizzlies while standing on the back of a rotting alligator while being pelted with karari tipped darts and fighting off a case of irritable bowel syndrome. I'd like to meet the man who can murder old Stinky. Hi, I'm Max! <laughs> uh, but you didn't kill Stinky, no? The younger Stinky killed Stinky. Or Stinky got killed by Stinky, and Stinky is not... Okay, let's move on. Honest, mm. Stinky. We're detectives, and we've seen all the evidence. You're gonna get off. When? How? And who's going to do it? Well, we don't know exactly. Detectives is really more of a catch-all term for guys with guns. <laughs> yeah. Some woman claiming to be your granddaughter has taken over your restaurant. Granddaughter my cleft palate. I never had any children. Really? A cantankerous, misanthropic, hairy old cuss like you would be great with kids. <laughs> hmm. Perhaps. Someday. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to rush you, Stinky, but if you're planning kids, you're going to have to get on that pretty quick. <laughs> we want to order something. Too bad. We'll take a pan-fried red panda with... What? Can't you see? I'm so close to perfecting my gooey molasses tar cake. I can't be arsed to cook for you hooligans when i got so much cooking to do. What's a gooey molasses tar cake? It's based on my ancient family recipe. But my proud knuckle-dragging forefathers never thought to use my secret ingredient. The blood of innocence! <laughs> Not me. You're both wrong, and you're both stupid. It's the one thing no one has ever thought to use before. I'll test your tar cake for you, Stinky. Sam can, and will, eat anything. <laughs> oh, you'd like that, <laughs> wouldn't you? To just waltz into a restaurant and order something to eat. You're just trying to find out my secret ingredient. Well, you won't, because it's the one thing no one has ever thought to use. What should use? Okay. We're from the Public Health Board. Almost none of the vermin in this establishment are wearing federally approved hairnets. <laughs> Government types. Pah! Weak and pathetic, the lot of you. You can't even begin to comprehend what I'm doing here. My dishes will challenge the weak and weed out the inferiors like you jelly-jawed lip-flappers. Only the strongest will survive. It will be glorious! <laughs> You're nuts. 
So, are you going to show us to our table, or what? Yeah. How are the 80s treating you, Stinky? What are you two still doing here? No animals allowed in my diner. It's okay. We're service animals. <laughs> Could we be seated already? No shirt, no shoes, no service. We're being discriminated against, Sam. Okay. Thanks for the chat, Stinky. I just go away and die. But most of all, thanks for just being you. <laughs> Let's take it. Looks like girl Stinky was telling the truth for once. The gooey molasses tar cake really is an old family recipe. Letter display? What's that? Maybe Another satisfied customer. Seriously? Oh boy. Check this out. It's from 1963, and it's signed by the president. My dearest Maxine, meet me tonight at Stinky's. Wear that dress I like. The one where I can see your <laughs> holy. I didn't think they knew that word back then. The president's wife wasn't named Maxine. What is this, the Temperance League? Lighten up! Looks like this case has a screw loose. A screw loose like the... Uh... Okay, let's talk with uh, them. It's our old pal, Bluster Blaster. Wait your turn! Hey, little guy. What are you scamps up to? I'm only playing Bluster Blaster, the newest and best video game ever made, duh! Nice try! Shouldn't you kids be doing something constructive? Or at least less nerdy? Today I get to do anything I want! You do anything you want every day, Max. You're the best! <laughs> Why don't you kids go outside and play? Why would I go outside when my best friend's in here? Gee, Max. Oh, yeah, Sam's here, too. <laughs> You're radical! What's so great about this video game? Are you kidding? This game is the only thing that really understands me. You rock hard! See what I mean? Wouldn't it be healthier to get your validation from other people? People are dumb, and they just don't get me. You're the greatest! See, it's like the game knows what I'm thinking. Playing that game so much is unhealthy, little guy. You're awesome! Unhealthy to hear the truth? I don't think so. I vaguely remember something very important about this day. What was it? There was my party? Duh! Don't forget that prom and after prom kissing retreat tonight, Max. Boring! Great job! You're getting better! Oh, so he doesn't like the prom? What the hell? That prom sounds like a fun and informative time for a young person. Why aren't you there? Couldn't you get a date? Loser! <laughs> You're the loser, loser! No, you are! Jenny Tallarico asked me to go, but I turned her down. She just doesn't get me like Bluster Blaster does. Great move! You almost dodged it! Wasn't Jenny Tallarico the girl who had a crush on you for years, Max? I don't know. I never noticed. They call her Jenny Tungarico, because she'll kiss anybody and she uses her whole mouth! Grody! Ugh. Grody! <laughs> <laughs> There's lots of neat stuff about girls. You'll realize once you take that first step to adulthood. Eh, why bother? I've got everything I need right here. You're the best! Just say no, little buddy. Word up! Hey, champ. What are you working on? I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. But we're strangers who have candy and cool guns you can play with. Well, that should be okay. I'm working on my new arcade game. Bluster Blaster. What are you doing with Bluster Blaster? I built him from a kit. Now I'm just working on the AI. Now I remember! You used to be a total nerd, Sam! Funny, though. All this time we've spent talking to the cops, and you never once mentioned you're the guy who built Bluster Blaster. It just never seemed relevant, I guess. What's wrong with the video game? It's fine, I guess. But with only a 1 megahertz processor and this 8-bit I.O. adapter, the AI doesn't get enough cycles to... Can the dork lingo, Chubbs. Just give me the recap. It'd be easy enough to download a new AI, but I haven't found one that's any good. What was that you needed for your video game again? A new artificial intelligence, Grandpa. 
Don't you grown-ups know anything about computers? Shouldn't you kids be outside playing or dating or whatnot? Outside? It's 8 o'clock at night. When I was your age, I would have set fire to at least four different categories of things by this hour. <laughs> Nuh-uh. You would have been playing that video game all day, just like he is. Don't you sass me, boy! You're <laughs> lucky that you grew up to be the only one who knows how to use the time machine, kid. <laughs> Aren't you worried you're turning into something of a... well... Uh... Dweeb? Doofus? Dorkwad? Who cares? I don't need you guys or anybody else. Max never calls me names. That's right, Poindexter. <laughs> Wouldn't you rather grow up to be as cool as I am? With a boss car and a detective job and a huge gun? Hmm, would I have to be as bad as you two? Temporal anomaly detected. You got lucky, punk. There's got to be something more constructive to do than work on this game all night. Well, there is that prom at the school tonight. This year's theme is Summer of Awakening Desire. Lame. 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 Well said. A smooth kid like you must have dozens of girls wanting to go to the prom with you. Uh, don't lie to the boy, Sam. <laughs> nah, all the girls are into Max because he's mean to them. And also, he doesn't complain when they dress him up in their doll clothes. Ah, the precious memories. Let's stick to one neurosis at a time, Max. Don't you want to get out and meet more sexy young people your age? Eh, who's got time for that? My video game is so close to perfect. You're amazing! Oh, Bluster Blaster, you know me too well. Make good choices, son. Didn't you guys say I could play with your guns? We lied, kid. Remember this. It's a good life lesson. Can I borrow that screwdriver? Well, as long as you promise to bring it back, I hate to think what would happen if I had to stop working on computers. Uh, yeah, uh, sure thing, kid. Oh, so that's uh, how uh, Sam got to be a uh, police uh, from uh, to get in the police department, and Sam and Max is uh, Max. I don't know. I still confuse them after so many episodes. They the, uh, still have the Max, same distract name for Stinky me. for me. Oh my god, look, Stinky! Yeah, what, what? Somebody's trying to break into your display case! <laughs> <laughs> Real smooth, little buddy. <laughs> yeah, that's really smooth. So, what we should do now? Hmm. Let's go to the president office. Yes, Oval Office. Who cares? So we are messing up time again. This is one I like in the future episode. Look, Sam, it's my summer office. I don't think so, Max. Take a look around. Welcome to the Oval Office, visitors. Next tour begins in 30 minutes. Seriously? This is a long time before the horrific sequence of events that led to your presidency. I'm not leader of the free world here? This will not stand! <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, let's go here. Oh, yes. That's a great joke. Hi, I'm George Washington. <laughs> Shove your nuts in my mouth and I'll crack them. <laughs> Please don't make fun of nuts. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, that's still a good Hi, joke. A random secret service agent. I can answer any of your questions. Please don't touch anything. I'm Agent Superball. Superball? It's a code name, sir. I'm a bouncer. Secret Service humor. In the future, we know a guy who looks just like you, with the same name. I've never seen you before. And there couldn't be another Agent Superball, sir. The code names are unique. <laughs> oh, Superball! I get it! I... I didn't get it. Where's the president? He's in the war room. Important national crisis. And when I said national crisis, I meant to say he's just watching television. <laughs> we are not at the brink of war with Cuba. All right, Sam. Our mission is clear. Nuke the commie I bastard! I think we've seen enough of the war room for one lifetime, Max. Yeah, you're right, Sam. Having to hurt people from a distance takes all the fun out of it anyway. Oh, Max. What do you think of the president? 
He's the greatest man who ever lived, sir. Oh, these poor bastards of the 60s having to grow up in a world without David Arquette. Heard any good gossip about the president? Extra toes or nipples, can't talk to the press without slices of ham stuffed down his pants. Stuff like that. The president is beyond reproach, sir. I won't hear any more of it. How long have you been working for the White House? Just a few months. I've already been assigned my first door. That's all you do? Guard this door? Not at all, sir. I also provide tours, run the patent office, and narrate public service announcements. That's a lot of work for one man. Yeah. I'm still new. In 40 years, I'll be promoted to receptionist. Seriously? You're working so hard and so much just uh, to get the, to be a receptionist? Oh, Super Bowl. We need your help with something official. What will it be, sir? Uh... A patent. We want exclusive rights to produce our latest invention. We wish to crush competing inventors to see them driven before us and hear the lamentations of their patent lawyers. Very well. What'll it be? Uh... It's a formula for cat litter that explodes when it comes into contact with urine. That's clever, sir. But I can't just issue a patent on an idea. I'd need a sample of the invention, plus an explanation of what makes it unique. A tour. We want to hear you narrate a public service announcement. All right. Are your cigarettes killing you? As unbelievable as it might seem, cigarettes made outside the U.S. actually contain chemicals that are addictive and possibly even harmful. For your own safety and that of your children, smoke only homeland-grown tobacco, the kind doctors recommend for your good health. Now you know, for a better America. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh, oh. We can use to have a patent, then to go to Stinky, and then uh, take his goo. We want exclusive rights to produce our latest invention. Yeah. Very well. What'll it be? So. Colostomy bags made of bubble wrap. As much fun to pop as they are to wear. That's clever, sir. But I can't just issue a patent on an idea. I'd need a sample of the invention, plus an explanation of what makes it unique. Never mind. Just keep guarding that door. Gladly, sir. Did you see a strange woman in here a while ago? A sort of career woman, asking everyone to spit. That's the one! Yes, sir. I admired her independent spirit and sass. Okay. Keep up the good work. Thank you, sir. Oh, can we use this to the present? What My dearest heck? Maxine, meet me tonight. <laughs> Tender caresses down your <laughs> and a donkey, love, the prez. That's very shocking, sir. Where were they going to meet? Inside Stinky's diner. Stinky's? I can't believe the president would eat at Stinky's. I've lost all respect for the man. Oh, uh, we need to get a sample, yes. Let's go to Asco. Oh, wait. I miss so many things. I don't know why. I wonder why I miss all the things. Hmm. Okay. So we wait. must get a sample. This sample has been completely contaminated by milk. It'll have to be replaced. So, get it. Ah, hmm, what's this? It's my chemical sampler. Get somebody to spit on it, and it gives you a sample test tube for the baby maker. Mind if we borrow it? Go ahead. I already got all I need. Okay, and uh, we go back to the Oval Office. Yes. And... So we need now to get a patent. And how we get the patent? And 
damn it. Use the box. Yeah, okay. Okay, and let's go back. Oh. It's the official calendar of the United States. The best part of being president is changing the date for the entire country. I don't want to change the date right now. I'm temporarily confused enough as it is. We need your help with something official. What will it be, sir? We want it. Very well. It's for a baby crib that rocks itself, using a motor powered by angry bees. That's clever, sir. But I can't just issue a patent on an idea. I need a sample of the in Okay, so Just I... keep guarding that door. Gladly, sir. So I need... Keep up Thank you, sir. A sample. How I get a sample? Oh, 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 can I use the cork or something? What the hell? Let's uh, go back to stinking and see if we can use the cork to get a sample of the goo. Yes, I, sh I should be a genius. Should I be a genius? Leave a comment and say Sideways is a genius. No. Yeah. No. Damn it. Chemi chemical sample. Yeah, it couldn't hurt to take just a sample. We should have those results for you in about a week, Mr. Cake. Now, turn your head and cough. Oh, so oh good. Good, 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 good. Good. So we can go back and get our our um our I I forgot how to English. Yes. So we go back and get our um, patent. Then we go back and reclaim our uh, thing. We'd like to patent our tar cake recipe, Super Bowl. It's a special recipe we made up ourselves, and anybody who says different is a damn liar! I see. And what ingredient makes that a unique invention? Love? I don't know what's this. Amber Grace. Mm. Uh, what am I... No, let's go with guano. Quiescently frozen wombat guano. I can't issue you a patent, sir. That ingredient is not in that sample. Oh, come on! How could you possibly know that? I'm a government official, sir. I know these things. I'll need to know the unique ingredient to issue you a patent. <sighs> We'd like to patent up. I see. Okay, so... Ambergris. Sorry, sir. That ingredient is not in that sample. I'll need to know the unique ingredient. Damn it! What's the unique ingredient? We'd like to patent our... I see. Wallaby sweat. Sorry, sir. That ingredient is not... I'll need to... Mm. I'm missing something again. Let's go to Basco. that I made that sample when my spit was most fertile the hell lady this sample has been completely contaminated by milk it'll have to be replaced yeah what a waste what a senseless waste <laughs> okay so we need damn it Touch that. Oh boy. Can you tell me what's this? Nothing doing. Or can you take this? No. -uh. Damn it, not you. No. 
Fight empowerment. You be careful. Yes, yes, yes. Come to me, woman. Come to me. Yes. No siree. Damn it. Not happening. Yes, I know, I know, I know. So intergalactic. Now oh, let's go back to Pasco and see what and how he can help save us. What the hell? Whee! Nah. No siree. Nah. Okay. Oh, into. No, oh, I can. Ah, uh, hold. Yes, we go forward. Basco, you are slightly disappearing. So, nothing doing. Damn it! Yes, I see you, Max. Stop fucking with my screen. Did Eat you it. miss us? What have you two been doing all this time? Hanging out with your mom. Real classy guys. Fine. Don't help me. Feeling better, Bosco? I don't know you guys. I still feel kind of distant. What did you guys do? We kind of made it so that you've never been born. Whoops. But being born is one of the greatest things I ever did. Fix it, you fools! Existence isn't something you can just ask for, Bosco. You've got to earn it. How's life as a paradox treating you, Bosco? It sucks, man. I want to exist all the way again. Do something! How is this THEM detector supposed to work again? It's a highly sophisticated technology that works based on a target person. You scan somebody with it, then use that to open a new destination for the time machine. Ah, <sighs> finally a straight answer. I don't know why they started outsourcing tech support to store owners on spaceships. Oh, 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 oh. We're oh. on the case. Damn it. Gotta go. I told you guys, cut it out! Yes, okay. Yeah, we should go back now. Yes, we go back to the Oval Office. I forgot about that. I really forget it. Yeah, sometimes I'm really done. Okay, so. It printed a time card with our logo on it. That's the logo. And... No. Damn it. Okay. And we should go to Stinky. Yes. I'm doing so many wrong things. Yes. And we scan Mr. Stinky, Grandpa. Stinky. Weird. It doesn't work on him for some incomprehensible reason we don't care enough about to pursue further. Good. Keep your fancy gewgaws and who's your watch it away from me. I've already scanned myself with this thing. No way. Not happening. Okay. So. Looks like Girl Stinky was telling the truth for once. The gooey molasses tar cake really is an old family recipe. So let's talk again with Stinky and maybe... I'll test your tar cake for you, Stinky. Sam can and will eat anything. Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Did you you're just trying to find out my secret ingredient. Well, you won't, because it's the one thing no one has ever thought to use. Okay. So long, Stinky. Ah. Gooey molasses tar cake. Seriously? Gooey molasses tar cake. Oh boy. I hope that was a bag. Bag.
He'd been helping some tachyons in a gravy boat at the Grand Duchess's bat mitzvah. What disgusting hellhole have we ended up in this time? Looks strangely familiar, like Super Bowl. I'm not here, sirs. You can safely ignore me. Done. Max, have you been sending Boxy Betty hey. to... What? Hey, buddy! Throw us that remote control, would you? You're gonna need this! Thanks, buddy. Be you later. Okay, what we've got? An egg? No. -uh. Maybe... Nope. What are you doing here, I... What are you doing here in our office? Investigating the President's disappearance, sir. So, you're back with the Secret Service, then? Mmm, sure. Max wasn't missing. We've been on a case. We got beamed on board a spaceship! That's ridiculous, sir. Must have been a weather balloon. That was no balloon! It was a spaceship! Bosco saw it, too! Gas leak. Mass hypnosis. Two abductions on the same street in the same week? And you're going to just try and cover it up? I can neither confirm nor deny a cover-up, sir. How'd you find out we were missing? There was a rat, sir. Claimed he was de facto owner of this office since your disappearance. He was quickly taken away for questioning. Wow, it always takes us ages to get rid of Jimmy Two Teeth. We must be slipping, Max. All this time, I never thought to use rendition. <laughs> How's the cover-up going? Very well, sir. Is what I'd say if there was a cover-up, which there isn't. Can you help us with our case? What seems to be the problem? Bosco's been abducted. Easily explained, sir. And he's trapped on a time-traveling spaceship! There's no such thing as time travel, sir. Look into my eyes, please. What were we talking about? Uh... You said that Mr. Bosco is having a perfectly rational vacation in Pago Pago. Yes. Pago Pago. Hey, look, Max. It's Agent Superball. You were saying something, sir. Oh, yeah. So that's a reference from Men in Black. Uh, um... It was on the tip of my tongue. Very good, sir. We met a guy in Washington who's a dead ringer for you. That would be me, sir. That was 40 years ago! You couldn't still look that young without a time machine or something. Clean living, sir. There's no such thing as time machines. Don't you feel better now that you're no longer working for bad guys like Jurgen? Uh, yes. I enjoy working for the Secret Service. Fighting <laughs> the good fight. Protecting the president. That reminds <laughs> me, Sam. Can we wrap this case up pretty soon? I've got a healthcare system and five foreign governments to topple. <laughs> and I'm way behind schedule. Were you able to patch things up with Mrs. Superball? That's a negative, sir. We spoke briefly. It ended badly. <laughs> she says she can't talk to me when I'm emotional like this. <laughs> Don't worry, Superball. Every time life closes one door, it opens another. That thought disgusts and terrifies me, sir. <laughs> yeah. Who's seeing you, Super Bowl? We can't seem to avoid it. Whoopsie. Sorry. So, let's... Oh, let's use this. No way. Why? No. -uh. He can't tell us. You stupid idiot. Bunang! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's funny. Frog mariachis, what the hell? What do you get if you plant a Mexican jumping bean? You're looking at it. Hmm. I don't need a sample of that. I think I'm better off not knowing what Max is made of. And how? How I do it? Oh, I'm sure that I 
have to do something. But what? What should I do? The spaceship's artificial intelligence unit is stuck on the elevator. Are you are you screwing with me? Hmm. It's sealed on there with some futuristic super adhesive. I'd never be able to pry it off. I don't need a sample of that. I'm missing something. What I did in the last episode. My brain is dead. How I am supposed to get it analyzed? In the sink? We're better to crunch numbers than in the john. Yeah. Hmm. It's the lousy Bosco house. Besides, the bottle's still corked. It's a bottle of proto vinegar that should be very useful about 40 years from now. I'm missing something. I'm really, really missing something. But what? Really, what? Nope. Nothing doing. Oh boy. Yeah. So I messed it up again. Like a genius I am. So first thing we gonna do until that time. Yes. Mm, time stream altered. What the fuck? What the fuck I just hear? So we must... I should interact more with objects. I, I didn't pay attention to anything. I was more... Let's go and ignore everything else around us. Yeah. And that cost me a lot of thinking. You must use. Hmm. It's an obituary from the local paper. More trophies from our victims! Who'd we get this time? Local mariachi Pedro died this week due to complications from. From what? A perfectly aimed bullet to the evildoer's cold black heart? <laughs> I can't read the rest. It's too blurry. It says stinky stick tight adhesive based on an old family recipe, number one throughout the entire galaxy with secret ingredient vitamin 13. It can't be all that big a secret if it's on the poster. Maybe secrets are different in the future. Okay. So we found out what is the secret and now we go back and get the pattern and then I, I don't know what the hell I should do. I really don't know what to do. What should I do? I'm confused. We go... We go... Uh, <sighs> I don't know. We'd like to patent our tar cake recipe, Super Bowl. I see. And what ingredient makes that a unique invention? Vitamin 13. Very well. That seems to check out. That patent grants you exclusive rights to make, market, and improve on your invention. This must be just what Thomas Edison felt like. <laughs> Minus the stealing and time travel, of course. Oh, Sam, you're so naive. <laughs> so... Oh. Is it? Why is he here? Okay. Keep up the good work. Thank you, sir. And we've Whee! got a patent. we got an egg. A patent, egg. Dark cake sample, screwdriver, and a cork. That is very helpful for me. I should use my patent, Stinky, and make him 
famous. We give him the patent or something? Let's go and see. Oh, the super adhesive is this. Okay. We have to insist that you cease and desist all future production of gooey molasses tar cakes, Mr. Stinky. We're not angry at you for stealing from us. Just very, very disappointed. <laughs> oh, Peacock. That recipe's been in my family for centuries. The U.S. Patent Office says otherwise, Gramps. The U.S. Patent Office can <laughs> my <laughs> pus build. <laughs> Actually, I don't believe that falls under their jurisdiction. Uh. Fine. I'll throw it out. Time stream altered. Yes. Then we go to little Sammy and give him uh, something good. Yeah. Wow, I've never seen anything that advanced. It must have at least 640 kilobytes of RAM. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever, kid. This is exactly what I needed for my video game. I'll just download the AI. Yeah, you do that. Then go outside and play or something. That shot left my defenses wide open. This game is really digging me, Sam. I may never stop playing. Begin docking procedure. Ew, gag me. I'll change it back. Oh, Mr. the duck. But you'll do better next time. That's better. Okay. Nah. Whee! No siree. Okay. Take another look at this talking computer dingus, kid. Thanks, mister. That shot left my defenses wide open. This game is really digging me, Sam. I mean... Begin docking procedure. Ew, gag me. Okay, oh, so... That's better. So... We messed it up? Or not messed it up? I should... Go home. And see what's... New. Or... If Bosco is a... Uh, Bosco! Not. You're back to normal! Hello, fool. Mr. President Fool. <laughs> hmm. I suspect we got the wrong dad, Max. Yeah. We did. Not happening. So, Bosco, are you feeling like yourself? Of course, sir. Never better. <laughs> Don't worry, Bosco. We'll get you back to normal. Thank you, fool. I suggest you hurry. Ugh. Even when he's riding us, he's too polite. <laughs> it's unnerving. <laughs> Can't you give us any more details on your father? It's straightforward enough, fool. I was a test tube baby, first in the country. No idea who'd make a spit donation to your mom? No more cracks about my mama, Mr. President, or I'll have to ask you to step outside. How's life as a paradox treating you, Bosco? I'd prefer it if I'd been born, sir. Please repair the time stream at your earliest convenience. <laughs> Do you remember any of your mom's biggest turnoffs in a man? Hard to narrow it down, sir. She was always very contrary. Okay. We'll see you around, Bosco. So, this is it for this episode. Hope you all enjoyed it and liked it. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.